Hey everyone, this is Gary, and today I want to show you how to use the trigger trap dongle with an iPhone to trigger a flash instead of the camera. Um, if you watch my last video on the trigger trap, um, I told you that the shutter lag in bang mode, which is um, a mode where you can open the shutter via a sound, like a hand clapping, the shutter lag was significant, unusably so. Well, it turns out it's not, it's really not bad uh, when you hook up this dongle to the appropriate cable. And basically these cables are pretty obscure. This is not an eighth inch connector. I'm gonna um, put up on the screen the exact kind of connector it is. But you plug this end into the dongle. Obviously this end goes into the iPhone. And then this end, it's a PC connector. Uh, old school. Uh, you need a flash that has one and my young new old 560 does so I'm going to plug this into my uh, flash. But before I do that I want to point out that in order for this to work right you have to basically kill ambient light. It's, all, it's an all flash exposure. That means you have to get an exposure in your camera that's going to elicit a blank frame. Now in order for me to get a black frame I'm going to turn off this video light and Take a picture. All right, I've got a black frame, or very, very close to it. Now I've got my flash. I've got a 20 degree um, grid, honeycomb grid on there to direct the light exactly to the cup. And then I've got this little 12 inch silver reflector reflecting light back onto the cup. So this is a one flash setup, one light and a reflector. All right, so now I'm going to plug this cable into the PC input on my flash. I'm going to launch trigger trap and I'm rapidly running out of battery power in bang mode. Uh, see? So basically my um, it's pretty instant. So now if I take a picture let me turn off this light, open the shutter. All right, see that? Okay, so it works really well, but let's find out how well. Um, all right, so this time, the sound that's gonna trigger the trigger trap, or the sound that's gonna trigger the trigger trap to trigger the flash is gonna be this hammer hitting this cup. So I hope this cup breaks. It's ceramic. It's pretty cracked. It should break. I hope it breaks. This table is a little, yeah. Well, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and that's to give it a shot. I think I have one shot at this. And let's see how accurate tribber, tribber, <laughs> tribber track, trip, trigger trap. Uh, let's see how accurately trigger trap responds to a sound. Okay, well it didn't break, but I can see the hammer, I can see the cup. Let me try one more, because so far I have a big mess, but actually this is not bad. So I think the trigger trap is responding very, very quickly. My iPhone is dying. All right. I can't break this cup. Well, okay, I think you get the idea. That's pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Let me try one thing. Right, I'm going to put this cup on its side. One more shot. Boy, I got a big mess to clean up here. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm happy. <clears throat> so my point is this. I got to. 
All right, so during, during the time that I had, first of all, my phone is warm. Second of all, with the Trigger Trap app launched in bang mode, which is the sound uh, mode, um, I'm getting a, a rapid battery drain. It went from 32% to 25%. But um, I'm happy with the response. So I think you all can see that if you hook up a flash to Trigger Trap, you actually get a usable reaction time. Because these pictures came out good. No blur. Bam. Fla the flash output is very, very fast. And uh, you don't have to worry about timing. You can set a long enough shutter speed and then let Trigger Trap respond with sound. Instead of you having to time the shutter, oh man, this makes my life much easier because I love doing these kind of shots. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. This is Gary from GaryDatesPhotos.com. Thanks. Bye.